everyone welcome to the channel of ecoholics so i have been doing a series of videos on different topics related to regression like i did a video on ols estimation of slope coefficient and intercept i also did a video on how to prove that they are going to be linear and unbiased as well so in this video we are going to talk about how to find the variance of the beta 2 hat that is the variance of slope coefficient estimator let's see now in the video where i was talking about linearity of beta 2 hat and unbiasedness of beta 2 hat i wrote my beta 2 hat in this format over here beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2 plus summation ki mu i so if you haven't watched that video first go and watch it because only then you will understand how we have got this equation. The thing is now I have to find the variance. I told you in that video that these kind of forms for beta 2 are going to be really useful for you. To find the variance I am writing my summation ki mu i in terms of beta 2 hat and beta 2. So I will take it to the other side, it will get subtracted. Now you will wonder why I'm doing this. So I have a full simplification of this. So what is variance of beta 2 hat? It is equal to expectation of beta 2 hat minus expected value of beta 2 hat whole square. Because what is variance of x? It is equal to expectation of x minus expected value of x whole square. So this is the formula. Now I know expected value of beta 2 hat is nothing. It is equal to beta 2, which we have proved in the unbiasedness video for which you will find the link in the description box below. So this is what I have got. Now I just needed the value for this thing because as soon as I will get the value for this, I can solve for expectation and I will get my answer over here. That is the reason I do not directly come to this place when I started solving it and I got to know that I need this value, I knew from where to get this value. So you do not get confused that how we know that we have to work with this equation or the other one. It's just that when you try finding out the values and when you will get that, okay, I need to get my value in the terms of beta 2 hat minus beta 2, then you have to quickly recap that which equation was giving you some kind of value in terms of beta 2 hat as well as beta 2. So I will pick this value of beta 2 hat minus beta 2 from the equation given here. So substituting the value I will get variance of beta 2 hat equals to expectation of summation ki mu i whole square. Okay, let's take it forward. Let's see how to solve it now. Summation ki mu i means that i is going to change its value and I'm going to add all the terms. All right, so ki square mu i square plus k2 square plus mu2 square likewise till the value of n. Now, because we are multiplying them, we have to write their covariance wala formula also. So it's going to be k1, k2, mu1, mu2 because when you are writing them, you have to find the relation between the ith and the next one also. But since we know that our error terms are not autocorrelated because of the reason we have assumption that there is no autocorrelation when we are talking about the random error term. Because of these reasons, these all these terms over here are going to become zero only. So I will be left with only k1 square mu1 square plus k2 square mu2 square likewise. Now I know the variance of every error term which is equal to expected value of mu i square is equal to a constant due to the presence of homoscedasticity. So one thing they will become zero only after you take their expectation, not before taking their expectation. So I will open the expectation. So when I do their expectation, I will get different answer. Now when I'm taking expectation along with them, they will become zero. Taking the expectations. So taking the expectation from here, I know if I take the expectation of mu one square, I will get sigma square. Similarly, mu two squares is also sigma square. 
so number of sigma square but when i take expectation of k1 square that is ki square i'm going to get summation ki square so i have multiplied sigma square with that because the number of ki is i'm going to have the same number of sigma squares i'm going to have there as well so sigma square summation ki square now what what was the value of ki we learned that in the linearity video so ki is going to be equal to xi upon summation xi square now i need to do the square of ki so i have done the square in the numerator and denominator cancelling the terms out i would be left with sigma square upon summation xi square which is equal to the variance of beta 2 hat so this is how we find the value of variance of our slope coefficient If you find this video useful please like it share it among your friends subscribe to the channel thank you everyone for watching the video